Wigs from time immemorial are almost part and parcel of various cultures. In ancient India, wigs were said to be used for disguising also. Artists decorated the gods and goddesses with wigs. The tradition continued with wigs adorning the noble lords and the royalty and also the justices. Now wigs are used in the modern day theatre and films and also in traditional festivities like the Ram Leela in India. अगर आप उसको बड़े सलीके से और अच्छे से विक का इस्तेमाल करेंगे तो मॉडर्न थिएटर बल्कि थिएटर की बड़ी बुनियाद है उसको होना चाहिए बहुत ज़रूरत पड़ती है कई नाटकों में एक सिंबॉलिक काम करता है अगर वो सिंबल सिंबल है उसका तो काफ़ी इनफ हो जाता है किसी चीज़ के लिए बट दिस एपिसोड इज द स्टोरी ऑफ दोज अनसंग हीरोज ऑफ दिस अनऑर्गेनाइज इंडस्ट्री द विग मेकर्स ऑफ इंडिया No doubt these artisans are unsung although their creations go to Bollywood and even Hollywood Wo shor jo tamasa hai hey ya wig makers like if you take uh, Hollywood industries um, like uh, 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 the uh, the wig makers in abroad they are more organized they have schools there it's a artwork they give more importance to hair products but this is another story on the life and times of these artisans these artisans are from various places as remote as this tiny village at Baniban in Jogodishpur Kolkata this art form thrives in these serene environments Sheikh Mujibur 32 year old wig maker is involved in this business in fact as an art form since his childhood He says he is here because of his uncles. He is perhaps the third generation artisan into this world of wigs. हम स्कूल लाइफ से ये काम सीखना शुरू कर दिया था उसके बाद फिर फुल फेस काम ये पाँच साल से अपना बिजनेस शुरू करा दिया इससे पहले हमारा मामा जो बड़े मामा था मिस्टर सिक्कायम अली वो ये काम करते थे उसके बाद हमारा छोटा मामा शाहम अली आया तो उसके बाद से हम काम करना शुरू कर दिया तो वैसे इस काम के अंदर अभी हम लोगों का साथ लेडीज़ जेंट्स मिला के कम से कम सौ डेढ़ सौ आदमी जुड़ा हुआ है हर हफ्ते काम होता है शनिवार को काम हम लोग डिलीवरी करते हैं बाहर से ऑर्डर आते जैसे कलकत्ता बॉम्बे दिल्ली चेन्नई हैदराबाद सभी जगह से बाहर से हमारे पास ऑर्डर आता है But there is a huge gap between his earnings and the money he requires to make both ends meet despite the hard work and the labor he has to put in. 
अभी समझ ले मैं एक ही बोलूँगा कि त्रिपति मंदिर को लेकर बोलता हूँ त्रिपति मंदिर एक ऐसी जगह है जहाँ पे आपका करोड़ों का माल सप्लाई होता है पाँच करोड़ छः करोड़ ऐसा माल बिकता है वो भी किसी हम जैसे छोटा मोटा आदमी का काम नहीं है This is not only the story of Sheikh Mujibur. There are hundreds like him. Mehndi ka to paisa ka hi tension hai aur jo aata hai thoda bahut kar lete hain. Bada matlab paisa hota to kaam bada sakte hain na aap. Lekin paisa to nahi hai to ye log ko leke jaisa hi chal raha hai apna mehnat se chala lete hain. Kacha maal thoda bahut khareed lete hain samjho ek ek mahine ka baal utha nahi sakta. Hamara jo baal ka rate hai अभी एक हफ्ता का दो हफ्ता का माल उठाते हैं काम करते हैं फिर खत्म हो जाते हैं फिर खरीदते हैं हम लोग इसमें चलाते हैं हाउ एवर दिस इज नॉट जस्ट अ वन मैन इंडस्ट्री और आर्ट इट इन्वॉल्व अ चेन ऑफ पीपल फ्रॉम दोज हु कलेक्ट हेयर्स एंड सेल देम टू एजेंट्स हु इन टर्न सेल देम टू दी ओनर्स ऑफ विग मेकिंग शॉप्स हु इन टर्न employ these traditional artists on daily wage basis or per piece basis and sometimes even monthly salary basis which is however less as only those whose shops have regular business can afford to employ these artisans and other boys on a permanent monthly salary basis The economy of this art or business is another peculiar aspect. Normally, it takes about 3 days to sometimes weeks to complete a wig according to the specifications. These wig makers or artists or artisans cannot work round the clock. Hence, production of wigs in a month vary from just 4 to 10 here is the man who has devised wigs for famous heroes like rajnikanth chiranjeevi and others ivangalukku vand from the starting lende avangalukku work kattu kuduthu ipdi dhaan pannanum nu ellam kattu kuduthittu nama pandrathu avanga day by day adha mari adha improvement pannikitte varuvaanga எப்படியும் ஒரு ஒர்க்கர் ஒர்க் ஸ்டார்ட் பண்ண பிறகு கற்றுக்கிட்ட முதலான பிறகு ஆறு மாதத்துலேருந்து ஒன் இயர் ஆன பிறகு தான் அவன் கொஞ்சம் ஒரு குட் ஒர்க்கர் ஆக முடியும் எக்ஸ்போர்ட் வந்து இப்போத்திக்கு வந்து நார்மலாக ஸ்ரீலங்கா பண்ணிக்கிட்டு இருக்கேன் நான் மிச்சம் எங்கேயும் பண்ணுறதில்ல ஆனால் வந்து என் எனக்கு அவ்வளோ பெரிய ஃபேக்ட்ரியும் கிடையாது இது நான் வந்து இது எக்ஸ்போர்ட் ஒரு லெவலுக்கு பண்ணணும்னா என்னென்னா நம்ம வந்து பெரிய லெவலில் பண்ணணும் எவ்ரி விக் டிபெண்ட்ஸ் ஆன் இட்ஸ் ஸ்பெசிஃபிகேஷன் அக்கார்டிங் டு விச் ஹேர்ஸ் ஹாவ் டு பி கலெக்டட் ஆர் ப்ராட் ஃப்ரம் இன்டர்மீடியரிஸ் இஃப் த ஸ்பெசிஃபிகேஷன் இஸ் காம்ப்ளிகேட்டட் மோர் டைம் இஸ் இன்வால்வ்ட் அ கிலோகிராம் ஆஃப் ஹேர் ரேஞ்சஸ் ஃப்ரம் ருபீஸ் ஒன் தௌசண்ட் டூ ருபீஸ் எயிட்டி தௌசண்ட் depending on the length and quality nama india la nariya temples la mudi illa ellarum devotees kudukranga illaya andha mudi illa collect aayi ange endu da varum idhukku vandu generala hair endradhu vandu total exporters world la fulla enga venalum inge endu da mudi ponum 10 inches la endu 14 inches or rate irukum 14 inches la endu 18 inches or rate irukum 18 இன்ச்சஸ்லேருந்து அந்த மாதிரி ஒரு ஃபோர் இன்ச்சஸ் ஃபோர் இன்ச்சஸ் ரேட்ஸ் கூடிக்கிட்டே போயிட்டுருக்கோம் மோர் தென் டென் தௌசண்ட் ருபீஸ்லேருந்து ஸ்டார்ட் ஆகிடும் இந்த இந்தியாவில் அந்த அந்த அளவுக்கு நமக்கு எக்ஸ்போர்ட் ஹியூமன் ஹேர்ன்றது வந்து இந்தியாவில் தான் கிடைக்கும் ஈவன் சைனா கூட இங்கேருந்து தான் போகணும் முடி அதனால் நமக்கு இந்த சோர்ஸஸ் இருந்து கூட நான் வந்து இதை டெவலப் பண்ணுறதுக்கு அவ்வளோ விருப்பமாக இல்லாமல் the products are to be sold anything between rupees 500 and rupees 2000 this may even go up to even a lakh of rupees here is the place where the whole hair collected heaps of them after free transferring by the temple authorities are being auctioned 
from time to time on a regular basis. The auctioning method is so scientifically devised now by the Tirupati Devasthanam that they announce in newspaper as well as e-auctioning where tenders are welcome. Agents come here, participate in the auction and procure the hair for big purposes. These hairs are collected from famous places like the Tirupati Temple where large-scale mundan ceremony Tonsuring takes place almost daily. Most of them are earning less than a lakh of rupees a year and hence exempt from tax. But the huge quantity of hair that is sold still escapes the tax net and VAT which are applicable to wig makers and they talk about it in the market area. However, there are many success stories too. A wig maker who makes wigs in large quantities and supplies them to the film industry, his is a success story. For the mere volume of business and the quantum and the money involved in the film industry in both Bollywood and Collywood, which are the two biggest places of wig orders and small level film industries in various states, too, are the main sources of income. I have finished my uh, BE Mechanical Engineering and I am into this exporting of human hair wigs as well as uh, human hair products uh, to many countries like Nigeria, Senegal, and Paris and Germany and as well as uh, USA. Now I would like to tell you about uh, human hair products. See uh, human hair products comprises of wigs, machine wefts, extensions and just a raw hair. So uh, wigs are mostly used in terms of film industries by celebrities and all people. Wigs are no more a taboo today in the society as they were once considered. In fact, a variety of wigs could be produced like fashion wigs, customized wigs, etc. As part from the ceremonial wigs, we are converting waste into riches human hair jo temple mein karta hai ya various parlors mein karta hai just a waste maryada purana zamane ke andar log isko nadiyan baandh diya karte the lekin aaj ek trend aa gaya hai jahan bade ladies jinke bahut lambe baal hain they go to the parlor and want to sell their hair wigs are produced for replacing natural hair for those who suffer from loss of natural hair केसेस ऑफ कीमोथेरेपी या एलोपीसा टोटालिस या यूनिवर्सालिस के केसेस जहां पर सिर पर कोई भी बाल ना हो उस केसेस में हेयर रिप्लेसमेंट के अंदर उनके लिए कोई भी कार्रवाई पर्याप्त नहीं है उनको एक फुल हेड विग ही दिया जाता है विग मेकर्स यूटिलाइज वेरियस डेवलपमेंटल स्कीम्स ऑफ द गवर्नमेंट इंक्लूडिंग bank loans to improve the business. Bank loans are available like for any other business and one should intelligently make use of them. Government will give us a loan, so we can do what we can do outside, where we can get the knowledge of the people, where we can get the knowledge of the people, so we can get the knowledge of the people automatically. But there is no specific schemes of loan for this industry like home loans, car loans, etc. 
all that is available is like any other business depending upon the project reports and hence most wig makers could not use effectively loans from banks and other financial institutions although wig making as an industry has today evolved into one of the major export areas there is no special or wig export specific scheme it is considered like any other export director general foreign trade department of commerce anoop pujari says the export policy that is decided is on the basis of the export product so what you are exporting we will make a policy on the basis of that but not who is exporting for example suppose let us say that government decides that mango shall be incentivized some amount of benefits shall be given for export of mango it does not matter whether a cooperative is exporting mango a small farmer is exporting mango or a corporate body like a multinational is exporting mango but having said that there is one difference the difference is that suppose it is not on the exported commodity but on something else then the policy becomes different for example government has a policy where 2% interest subvention is granted to exporters on the value of their export example suppose i were to export 100 dollar worth of commodity the 100 dollar doesn't come back to me immediately so government will grant a pre shipment or post shipment export credit to such person now in such cases 2% interest subvention is granted to msme sector irrespective of the line of export whereas if you are not an msme you have to be on a particular you have to be eligible their eligibility textile is eligible handloom is eligible engineering 134 lines are eligible but if you are an msme irrespective of which sector you are you will get a 2% interest subvention however films still require the largest number of wigs rc shakti the famed film director who introduced the leading indian star kamala hassan as a hero first in his film unar chikal says wig making is a very important role it helps in so many ways for the development of films uh, wig making is not a easy joke it's a very hard work it helps the artist to mold the characters so wig making is a very important and curious part of film industry another famous director sp muthuraman who has the distinction of having directed most of rajnikanth's and kamala hassan's films says megalna ipo nichayama avangalukku ungalku thani mariyada vandirukku ipo inga thirippada thodilal sangathile avangalukku oru angam adhaavu oppane and sigalangaram nu avanga ella union la irukanga adhe nichayama avangalukku mariyada kudukapadudhu ore oru vishayam naanga solrom arasangamum avangala ookapaduthra mari andha mari technicians ookapaduthrangalum indha aasa ipo kamal vandu makeup man la hollywood la irundhu kootundhu inga pannitirukkaru ipo andha alavukku nama makeup man gal nama wig makers la thayara irukkumbodhu avungalukku vandu virudhigal kuduthu parisugal kuduthu avungala ooki vecha nichayama avungalum hollywood makeup man ku samama wig maker ku samama avungalum valaruvaanga another famous actress nafisa ali goes to the extent of saying that without wigs very many superstars today could not have sustained their market wigs are is a, is a common factor in all cinema and and every character is personalized or, pers- or created or personified by uh, the the look that he portrays or she portrays and uh, the wig maker is uh, is the creator of that personality as long as uh, 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 along with the makeup artist they say that these artisans should be recognized and given due care and attention there are two or even three types of wig makers those who are attached to film industry and those who are attached 
to the high-end shops at larger centers. Apart from these, there are those who make wigs like the domestic industry at their homes in remote places and sell them to agents who procure them and supply them to large-scale markets. There are now limitless options and imagination for the wig makers. This sector could indeed become a high-revenue earning one. However, the family members of these wig artisans who took work in the field looking after the daily household chores also say, Most of them say they had nothing earlier, not even a square meal. Now we have enough food to eat, but that's it. There are no savings, nothing left in bank accounts. However, almost all of them have bank accounts. এই কাজটা করি সংসারের উন্নতির তরেই করি একটা মানুষ খেটে তাতে যদি কিছু আমরা কাজ করে সহযোগিতা পাই সেটা সংসারের উন্নতি হওয়ার তরে আমাদের ঘরে সংসারের রান্না বাড়া সব ছেলে পুলে সামলে যেটুকু হাতে সময়টা পাই আমরা এই কাজটা করি ইভেন অর্ডিনারি কাস্টমারস হু আর নট ফিল্ম স্টারস অর ইভেন স্টেজ অ্যাক্টরস say that they feel that they have got back their confidence with wigs. Shishpal from Delhi says that he has lost his hair suddenly and now he feels confident with the wig he is wearing as it looks like his original hair. I'm very happy to see it. I don't know what to do. The other man who sees me, I don't know what to do. 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 There are also certain types of wigs which are not full wigs but patch wigs to pad up the receding portion of hair. Such patch wigs help fill up the hair receding portion. So far as the hair industry is concerned, 30,000 crores of rupees seem to be involved and indeed it is a black gold industry. This industry has a growth potential of a multi-crore business. Certain experts as well as wig exporters say that raw hair export in today's India alone is estimated to be at rupees 3000 crores in the world market. Experts say if export is banned, it could turn into a rupees 30,000 crore industry. Because hair worth rupees 3,000 fetches about rupees 30,000 in the open market. So 3,000 crores worth of hair could fetch 30,000 crore as the estimate. This growth potential is being projected by experts and wig exporters. We have a labor. Because we can train that labor. We have a manpower. If we can train it and send it forward, so this is the auction that can go up to 30,000 crores, which is a huge jump and we can earn very good foreign revenue. We term it as a black gold. So if you stock black, that is hair, raw human hair, like say some 100 kilos for 10 years, the price would be definitely 10 to 20 times even faster than the gold rates. The Tirupati Temple auction was held in two phases, first in September 2011 and then in March 2012. 466 
tons of hair were auctioned in the first phase and another 95 tons were auctioned in the second phase. So, when from one temple alone, if this much scale could be achieved through auctions, from various other temples and holy places in the entire country like the banks of holy rivers like the Ganga, even in burning ghats where tonsuring ceremonies take place, the revenue could be astronomical. This is the reason those who are involved in this business describe the raw human hair as black gold. If export from India of raw hair to foreign countries is banned, the indigenous production would exceed almost all the countries. With the labour potential in India, this industry is one major area of economic growth and prosperity.